This lesson is called Markers, Regions, and Commands. Think of these as organizational tools to help you navigate throughout your project. Here's a project that uses markers. These are markers. This is the marker bar. Markers are pointers to a particular moment in time. They can delineate sections, ideas. You could use them on the beat in a music video to make cuts at particular moments in time. Markers are very simple to work with. Click anywhere in the timeline where you want to insert a marker and press the M key, M as in Mary key, M as in marker, on your computer keyboard. Type the name of the marker. Type the name of the marker, click enter, and you've inserted a marker. You can click on this marker and move it around. You can right click on it and rename it or delete it or go to, which positions the cursor directly on that marker. Over here at the right edge of the marker bar, looks like a little P almost, this is the marker tool right above the slider. Click on the marker tool, click on the marker bar, and then you can use the arrow keys, left and right arrow keys, to navigate through the markers. This marker is now the active marker. If we want to select other markers, we can control click them, or we can shift click, we'll highlight all the markers from the first one through the last. You could then move them all at once, for example, or delete them all at once. If you want to rename them, however, you'll have to rename them individually. The marker tool becomes inactive the moment you click anywhere else in the workspace. Right now, even though the marker tool is not depressed, these markers are still selected. If we right-click in the marker bar, go to Markers and Regions, we can delete all of those. If we have an area selected, we can right-click go to Markers and Regions, and delete all in selection. If, using the Options menu, you've enabled snapping, you have the option to snap to markers. Look what happens to the cursor as I move, toward, as I move closer to the markers. The cursor snaps right to the marker. If I turn that off, it doesn't snap. Another way to insert a marker is from the Insert menu, Insert Marker. You can also insert an audio CD track region, and you can insert this also using the N key. Notice that Vegas adds another bar, and this is the CD bar. We can also insert CD track indexes. Indexes are stops that the fast forward and fast reverse tabs on your CD player use. So you could, for example, put markers in for verse and chorus or in an orchestral piece, markers for the different movements, something like that. If we render this file and check Save Project Markers in the Media File. Vegas will save these markers as chapter settings, which can be then imported into DVD Architect. So you can set up a DVD quickly and easily within Vegas just using the marker feature. 